Uh, you have always been an active supporter of human rights. With that in mind, what does the visit of Aung San Suu Kyi mean to you? It means an enormous amount. I first, I think, heard of the case of Aung San Suu Kyi uh, through a man called Huey Baxter, who had uh, spent a great deal of time in Asia. And he had met uh, Aung San Suu Kyi's family, Michael Aris, her late husband. And then, I think it was late 89, Michael Aris gave a file dealing with uh, the circumstances in Burma, and very particularly 1990, 91. Uh, at this stage, she was presented with the simple choice that if she could leave the country, but she wouldn't be allowed back. So she decided to stay. And I began asking questions in the parliament through all the succeeding, every year. And I stayed in touch with it through the Burma Action Group and other groups as well. And very particularly, I think, um, I think I was moved by the terrible choice she had to make because remember her husband, who later would become ill, and I think died in 2009, and her two boys, her two sons, uh, uh, were in England. So that was my first, really, uh, involvement in the case. And then uh, I think uh, I often saw images of her uh, during her house uh, arrest where she would appear in the balcony. She wouldn't give political speeches, but she was a kind of presence. She was a very strong spiritual presence and very impressive all the more for that. And I also knew, of course, because I had Buddhist friends as well, of the particular, it's what she meant to them as well in, uh, in, in Burma. And uh, so it means a very great deal. So here she was, after nearly two decades of never being on a flight, of being outside her, her house, and she takes these very long flights to Switzerland and on to different countries in Europe. And the fact that she managed to fit us in six hours here in Ireland meant an awful lot, because as she put it to me herself, uh, the support from Ireland never wavered for an instant, an instant from p not just the, the different political parties who would unite behind any time I raised it in the Parliament, but also the public, and particularly the NGOs. And I think among the NGOs, Trokra. Trokra are really there on the ground since about 1995, and they are recipients, I think, of about half the Irish aid involvement in Burma, which is about seven million a year. And then I think during the special, the, the after the disaster in 2008, when the cyclone, there was a special uh, assistance of about 1.2 million.